Hi Cancer, welcome to your October 2021 general tarot reading. It's Raina here. And um, let's see, what did I want to tell you? Oh yes, the new moon that is occurring on October 6th is happening during a Mercury retrograde in the same sign of Libra. And for you, this is the fourth house of home and family, which you rule. And so if you are trying to buy property and you feel like there's some kind of a delay, don't worry about it because this is very temporary. I have a whole October forecast for uh, your sign on my channel already, if you're interested in that. Oh my gosh, I already got like... Oh my, <laughs> no, you're probably going to say this is a setup, right? But didn't you see me? Didn't you see me uh, shuffling these cards? <laughs> the first four cards are major arcana cards. Can't make this up. Shh. Uh. Okay. So the heart of the matter is the judgment card, and this can be a literal judgment like some kind of a legal matter that is coming to a head, um, a close, uh, a, um, you know, some sort of closure. So whether it's a divorce, whether um, you've had some kind of a lawsuit, but on a higher level, this is a card of rebirth. And you can see the, I, I still don't really understand. It's probably some biblical reference, even though this is a tarot, you know, the fire of the trumpet and the, you know, I see like some kind of a cross like that. So it almost seems like that. It's a uh, baptism by fire, which, which means that the person goes through a lot to get to that new state. You know, you have to, you have to walk through the fire. Um, but, um, you get there and, uh, and sometimes it can even be about your own judgment and feeling like, you know, what did I just do? You know, and an example is if you are getting divorced and you just wonder like, what did I see in that person? Like, why did I do that? And it is always good to, to look at the reasons that you do things because you, will find that there's some kind of um, a need that is deeply embedded in there somewhere. And um, it's, it's helpful to, to use as a lesson for the future. And, and so the people that keep making the same mistakes, they're not doing that kind of self-inquiry. They're just kind of living their life um, on automatic. And so that's another thing. So, so self-inquiry so that you can look at, and it's not about judging yourself in a harsh way. It's about assessing what has uh, occurred so that you can learn from it. In the past position, we have the temperance card. You know, the first thing I thought about is somebody getting sober and that's, you know, making them, sane again and then being able to see exactly what um they have been involved with so um you know kind of sobering up and certainly cancer's water sign so you may <laughs> like that uh bubbly or whatever it is but yeah um the the other thing with the temperance card it's connected to sagittarius it's also connected to the sense of balance between the spiritual and the practical. If this is a work-related matter, there might have been some kind of legal situation involved there that you had to get um, out of a work agreement or if they violated some of your rights or something like that. And it's really about choosing, it's, it's about choosing, um, the spiritual 
as, at least as much as the material. So for instance, for cancer, there may be a lot of times a concern about material security. And yet sometimes because of the, the effect of the work or the, the um, demands of the workplace, it may cause you to feel that you have to choose your higher self, so to speak, and, and preserving that for some reason. And you don't want to um, just allow money to dictate that. And so that might be some kind of a decision that you agree to. And it's like the judgment is on a higher level. It's not just allowing the material to dictate it. The higher level is the star card, and um, this is about healing. This is about maybe going through some big challenges and being able to rise above it, uh, maybe getting guidance from a higher source, including people in your life, family members who have crossed over or other uh, like spirit guides, if you have been getting in touch with those kinds of things. And the one of the big phrases that I memorized about this card is faith in unseen forces. And that's really what um, faith is, is being able to believe that there's something good um, that you cannot prove is there. Um, also there was, there was a saying that they used to say, you know, that's kind of like the universe has your back. They used to say, jump and the net will appear. And, um, I also see this as following your dreams. Th this card is connected to Aquarius. And so that might even be a person that has, um, been a shining light in your life. But uh, in terms of what Aquarius represents astrologically, the 11th house is the house of your hopes and wishes. So that might be that you had to go through something. Maybe it was like some um, work-related um, issue so that you could have... Um, so they can make room for your dreams because if you would just keep working there, you would never have the time or the energy to pursue anything else. What crosses you is a judgment card. This card is connected to Libra. I also think that the Mercury retrograde could be why it is showing up in the kind of in the challenge position that any forward movement of, of anything uh, at this time might take more time because of Mercury needing to come out of its shadow. But also in terms of any kind of judgment, you may not be satisfied and you may not think that um, it was fair if it is a legal judgment. And the thing is that um, even if something doesn't seem like as satisfying or what you had hoped for, um, you, just as just as a closure, it can give you the freedom to move ahead. And that's why I think I got this card, which is um, what's coming in, the Ten of Swords. So yeah, this card can be a card of betrayal, but it can also be the end of a bad situation or, you know, having hit bottom, now you're coming up from a bad situation. The number 10 is a number of um, the end of a cycle. But, you know, in numerology, if you reduce a number that has a zero, so the 10 is a one. And so that also, to me, indicates a new cycle beginning at the same time. But this is a card, um, typically we look at as betrayal. And the thing, too, is like even if something goes in your favor, like a judgment, let's say you get divorced from somebody and it happens and you even benefit in some way, 
you still may have residual emotional pain to, to integrate, to work on, to kind of resolve within yourself. It doesn't, you know, a situation doesn't just end because of you having an official divorce or if you have um, quit a job or something like that. There still is the emotional side of things. And the more you can process that in a way that allows you to make peace with the situation, the more that you can truly move on. And speaking of that, oh yeah, you know, this is great that I got this as the last card. The outcome is the Ace of Wands. This is, you know, a new enthusiastic beginning. And that's, you know what? I couldn't have picked it better myself to to have what is coming in is that finality of the 10 and then to have the ace. But especially with fire, there is a strength, you know, like a confidence and individuality and independence of this card. And you can see the leaves sprouting from, from it, which means that there is new growth. Uh, fire is about expansion. And so there's a feeling of independence and that independence in and of itself creates that expansion. So that might be what that's all about. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this cancer. If you would like a personal reading, I do a lot of astrology readings. I have some double astrology readings, which are more like a deep dive reading, um, type of reading, um, on sale. You can check my website. The link is below. Take care.